here we are the moment you've all been waiting for we are here for the christmas specials 2013 slash 2014 this is release number one of what will be a total of six events yeah six events and we are here at bathurst Ladies and gentlemen, the first time I've ever done a race at Bathurst, and you're going to see really exciting racing over here. It will be an endurance race, so it will be a long race. And just for you guys to know, if you don't want to watch the whole race, that's totally fine. Um, so we got 40 cars over here. 40 people have signed up, and um, well, one of those 40 people will win, win this race. And that person who wins this race will get a reserved spot. For the Phillips Cup Series Season 7, there are now a couple of reserve spots. I think there are a total of 20 eventually. Um, so a reserve spot is well really helpful since you already, if you still can able or uh, you still have to um, comment on this on the race you win though. Otherwise, the reserve spot will not count. And of course, um, then we got. I will just take you through what we're going to do here. We are at Bathurst. Uh, then tomorrow we will start with the Christmas Royals. That will be a event with very small segments of three minutes, and every time it will be like a knockout series. And then it will be at uh, Talladega No Wall. And eventually, if you fly out of the racetrack or get below the yellow line, then you're out. And well. And then eventually, after three minutes, another driver gets added. And that's how he's going to be. Just like last season. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just like last season. And otherwise, I will just explain tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's the first day of Christmas. And this today is 24th December, Christmas Eve. So, um, well, first of all, I just wish you a very Merry Christmas. And, well, Happy New Year's already. Uh, so then, but at the Christmas Royals will last till uh, the 31st of December will be uh well seven six or six days it is but there won't be a racing every day since i already have um the second day of christmas there won't pro probably won't be racing since i'm then with my family somewhere else and then uh maybe the 30th of december i'm with sonne so maybe not racing then maybe i will in the evening but We'll, we'll be fine. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's first focus on this race. We'll also the, all the other races that will come later um, after uh, New Year's Eve. So, we got Andrew Robinson in the 43 car on the pole position. I think cannot see that. Great. And 17 car of Keith Black in second. Then we got Brian, Ryan Smith, a new person in the uh, Phillips Cup Series, part of the um, ASR team, I think. ASR racing team or ARS it is oh, I forgot no, no, this, at least it's start, part of the Alex Smith team and then Kyle Thomas in the 6 we got John Cittadino and Annie Thomas by the way Annie Thomas and Kyle Thomas are not related to each other we got Anna Gregg Joshua Michaels uh, both have already reserved spots and Skylar Dixon and Alex Smith in ninth and 10th so we're, let's go uh, and get this race started and the thing is I said that we were going to do this on my laptop but unfortunately I cannot get NR2003 to work on there I don't think it is too, It is. I think it's even better to just do it over here since I have everything I've done with the Phillips Cup series and the Star Wars Super Speedway series over the past one and a half years I have on this computer so it would be a lot of pain and disaster to put everything on my laptop again so what are we going to see? We're going to see a very long race, endurance race, and of course, endurance racing is not really about leading and stuff. It is mostly about surviving. So, ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Robinson in the number 43 car will lead them to the green flag, and the Christmas specials 2013 2014 are underway. Here in Australia, Bathurst, or Bathurst, Australia, this. And you can see Andrew Robinson already taking a big lead over here. Well, not too big, but still fairly sizable lead over Keith, ba Keith Black. And going into the turn number two it is, or something, I'm not sure. We'll keep on skimming through the field. And, well, 
the cars are really bunched together there will be pit stops just for you to know there will be two or three pit stops most likely and maybe even more I'm not sure and ooh I hear some people scraping the wall over here and this is one of the trouble spots so it seems like everybody gets to, ooh somebody got into the wall over there that is the 16 car of Molly Black yeah, I still don't can or don't know everybody over here there are a couple of rookies in the series as well so and Robinson still in the lead second is Keith Black and third is now Ryan Smith fourth is Annie Thomas and in fifth position we got Kyle Thomas oh and they crash together oh my goodness and the track is blocked over here Joshua Michaels you see go into the wall over here and everybody just stacking into it look at this some drivers can get it, their cars rolling again but a lot of cars have taken damage in this and you see their space car um, there we see Kyle Thomas and Annie Thomas both on pit road also John C. Dino and while uh, still in the lead is, is uh, Andrew Robinson I'm probably going to keep it like this because I'm don't know all the names yet. That's one and two. I don't know all the camera angles where we're at. So that was already a pretty sizable lead. And one thing too, we're not going to have caution, so we're just going to have instant replays over here. I'm just going to rewind it and go to the six car there of Carl Thomas. And we're going to do it like this in every race except for well the the, the Christmas Royals. So it seems like Annie Thomas, she went a little bit wide over here. And then she ran into that, yeah, there's a wall over there. It seems like that happened a lot. And also we see John Cedino do the same thing. Smoking now Annie Thomas and uh, Kyle Thomas do. And then Joshua Michaels. I'm not sure he did the same thing. Oh no, it was the 82 car, excuse me, of Emily Michaels. She did the same thing and then gets hit by the 4 car Tom Girard. So that's already two cars of the team of, um, what is it, of Kyle Thomas's team involved in this. And everybody behind there is just stacking into it, I think. All taking damage there. But once again, it isn't really about finishing, it is about surviving. So these guys still have a small chance to do something great. And, well, it's time to go now back live again I have no clue where we are Ooh, and we saw Inga Lombliana hit the wall I think over there Ooh, we see we hear more people scraping the wall let's see there we got Emily Michaels on pit road are still Kyle Thomas uh, Annie Thomas and John Cedardino I think that their race is maybe over already very early Andrew Robinson is pulled a big lead over Keith Black we got Ryan Smith in third and I want to go back to the trouble spot yeah, that's it. Ooh, and somebody else hit over here. And it is the two car over there of Beth Black. And, oh, car up and over. Molly Black rolled her car. So both two Blacks already involved in a crash over here. And now we're gone and lost. So look at this. Man, this is really a trouble spot. Also, Beth Sinise is involved in that. Now, Inge Lambliana and Chris Reichenbach, a new driver in series are all involved in here so that took out already a lot of cars oh that's amazing let's take another instant replay over here with the two car of Beth Black another person who got trapped in this very very weird and narrow corner and she was just getting passed by Debbie Myers I'm not sure if Debbie Myers well she had a certain influence on this and then, she, then he gets hit hard by the 66 of Isaac Sinclair. And there Derek Benassi hits the wall. And now Dom caps. Oh, he just scrapes it. But then Molly Black hits the wall and then gets tumbled over by Beth Sinise. Wow. Let's take another quick replay at this. Let's go on board. Here with the 16 car of Molly Black. I probably won't be able to catch all the crashes that happened today so I'm just going to do my best to catch the most of them so still some cars are on pit road and I want to go to the leaders there is Andrew Robinson in the lead and second is 
Keith, like, I don't think a lot of has changed over here. Ooh. Alex Smith at the wall over there. Now Son of Course goes by him. So, yeah, pit stops are going to be, uh, well, not mandatory, but at least these guys are going to have a necessary pit stop. At least two, I think. So, there's Emily Michaels and now on pit road we got Beth Black and Beth Sinise and Molly Black as well. So that's already two cars. While Keith Black is running his second position, his other two teammates are already done. Here you can see the live standings. I will show these as well a couple of times. And you see Annie Thomas, Kyle Thomas, John C. Dino already out of the race. Daniel Voyles and Derek Bonassi, two others out already. And Beth Black, Molly Black and Beth Sinise are still on pit road. So it could be possible that we only have 32 cars. Well, we only have 32 cars on the racetrack. And actually the lag isn't as bad as I had expected it, so that's good. So, top three closing in over here. Ryan Smith is now closing in a little bit on the 17 car. Right there. But the 17 car is pulling on pit road. Keith Black now making a pit stop. Already after two laps it is. And, ooh, wait. We have more people who got, in, who got difficulties. Also Jason Sinclair and Jackie Tang. Let's take a quick look at what happened to them. Ah, yeah, same corner. Look at this. Jackie Tang went, ran a little bit too wide. Then got hit hard by the 62 car. And by the 46 car also. Tests out Jackson got a piece of that. And the car is now trying to miss everything. And scraping by. So. A lot of cars with damage already. And here we see Tina Anderson with a lot of smoke over here. I'm not sure if she hits something. Yeah, she has damage, so she hits something. So, um, yeah, of course, Ryan Smith is now in second position. Sonic Course is in fourth. Well, she scored in fourth, but she's running in third position. Alex Smith in fourth. And fifth is Anna Gregg. So, oh, I thought that the truck over there was also a car, which was racing. Um, a couple of cars ran wide over here. And there Warren Cherry coming out of pit road. I'm not sure if... Um, let's see who was running in second position. I don't think that Keith Black is already out of pit road. Or off of pit road I should say. There's Beth Black on pit road. Ian Dada is now making a pit stop as well as... Um, no. That's cool. There are Beth's knee spools on the racetrack again. That's cool. Jason Sinclair, that is uh, Jackson making a pit stop, Jackie Tang, and there's Andrew Robinson again, so I'm not sure where um, the 17 car is of Keith Black. Well, there he is, still running in third position, well, he scored, scored in third position, but he is not running in third. He is probably somewhere in, still in top uh, 10 though, so that's pretty decent. Beth Black now pulling off of pit road again, after a pretty hard lick, so I'm surprised that she can still race. So Ryan Smith now in second position, right behind Andrew Robinson has led all the laps so far, but I think that it will be time for pit stops for him as well soon, or maybe not. So two, um, what is it, Plymouth, I think. I think both these cars are Plymouth. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we got a Mustang over here of Sonic Course, a Chevelle of, An of Alex Smith and a um, Camaro of Anna Gregg. And yeah, for you guys, there are, um, let's see, I don't think that anybody else hit that w wall thing over there, so that's good. And I know that it was a little bit quickly and unorganized, uh, at least this race was, um, since I even had to do testing today. And yesterday, only yesterday I clo I've, well, finished the signups and put everybody in their car. So it all went pretty quickly and unorganized, but at least we're racing over here. And we see Tina Anderson, the third, is, uh, had an overheating problem. She's out. And then Jason Sinclair, Jackie Tang, Beth Sinise, and Beth Black are... Uh, oh, Jack Jackie Tang just retired, so Beth Black and Beth Sinise are still racing. And about others, I have no clue, so... At least Andrew Robinson is still in the lead. Ryan Smith, Sonic Course, Alex Smith and Anna Gregg. D3 are pretty close together. And look at those cars just drifting away. 
drifting over the racetrack and okay so there we go now we got Keith Black running in sixth position and uh, Chase Smith running in, in uh, seventh Joshua Michaels in eighth Skylar Dixon in ninth and Joseph Onesto in tenth so Andrew Robinson over here in the number 43 car um, his teammate Zachary Robinson he is uh, president so he has one reserved spot now Andrew Robinson is on the point of getting another reserved spot and here's the standings once again I'm not sure if I'm going to do to do these standings all the time at least we have had one fifth of the race <coughs> and yes this this is a very long race and all these races are going to be very long though uh, the Christmas Royals of course we are going to have uh, at, we are going to have a qualifying of 15 minutes which will just set the uh, field on who will race when and who will come or come in the show when and then the, we're going to have four videos of 10 cars each and those 10 they are going to be 30 minutes per segment and then plus the replays if a crash happens so that must be around 45 minutes times four so it's going to be very long and then eventually you're going to have a, what was it I'm not sure if it was 15 or 20 lap or maybe 10 lap uh, shootout between the people who make it to the finals and when are you do you make it to the finals if you if the final person the person who uh, was the fastest in the qualifying practice if that person has driven three uh, his part of three minutes then after that we're going to have um, the finals so I'm just came through the field over here, a couple of cars with damage and a couple of cars making pit stops over here. There we see the 46 car coming on pit road. E.G. Robinson. And these are all planned pit stops. So, Also Isaac Sinclair and Joseph Nestor are pulling on pit road. Oh, they're pretty cl close together actually. So, Well, tight pit road over here. And Zachary Robinson with a lot of damage. Best of knees. All of these guys already had issues. And top two. And there's Sonic Course. She's already... A little bit further behind the leader, 13 seconds she scored behind the leader. And so the top two is still fairly close together. But of course pit stops might screw things up again. So it's time to talk a little bit about the drivers who are in the series since we have time. Uh, Andrew Robinson, we've talked about him, part of Zachary Robinson's team. Zachary Robinson has been in the Phillips Cup series actually ever since season one but he has missed two seasons I think so and then Ryan Smith part of Alex Smith's team and they are new to uh, the sport they have been in the Phillips Cup series as well or Phillips Nationwide series as well now Alex Smith is in the Phillips Cup series so now for the first time with three drivers they are in a series and just for, to, as a clarification these ser this is just not for points so just for you to know and then Sonic Wars, the 85 car, I call her my sister, well, a very good, very, very good friend of mine. So, And then Alex Smith making a pit stop, so two of the Smith cars are in the top 10, or at least were in the top 10. I think Alex Smith is still going to be in the top 10 after this, making a pit stop over here. And that is after 7 laps, so expect all the, these cars still to to come still back one more time at least maybe even two more times so I'm still surprised the leader hasn't made a pit stop yet um, so that gives Anna Gregg the fourth position Anna Gregg also has been a part of the Phillips Cup series for a long time now she has won two races in that series uh, in the Star Trek Super Speedway series she hasn't won a race yet but her thing is consistency she has been in almost every single chase I have done in both the Star Trek Super Speedway series and the Phillips Cup Series. She's now once again in the Phillips Cup Series Season 6 chase. And well she's just doing a very great job. In that number 18 car. She has always been driven the number 18 car. Except for the first season when she drove the 5 I think. So then we got Keith Black in the 17 car. 3 cars. Um, and Keith Black well. I'm not sure who's the main driver of the team. But at least they have had a couple of wins. To, with the Waters family is also part of the team with uh, Kelly Waters who is now in the chase and Kevin Waters also 
um, did a great job. And then Molly Black has won a race, I think, Beth Black at least, too. So, successful team. Then we got Chase Smith, another Smith over here. So, those Smith car guys are doing a very good job. Here's Joshua Michaels in the 04 car. Uh, Joshua Michaels, the Phillips, no, the ING Phillips Truck Series, I think it is called now. He is the president of that and also, also has been a part of that car for a long time. And together, together with Jane Pinter and, and um, Judge Vanessa run the main series in Dascar. So that's fun. it's still fun to have him over here. Then we got Skylar Dixon in the 06 car. We haven't really... Um, well, we haven't seen... He hasn't been in Dascar for too long. He has been in the Star Wars Super Speedway series now. This is the first time he has driven in that. So and now he's also in this series, the Christmas specials. And then we got the this bar guy, the 27 car of Luis Hernandez. Luis Hernandez, he got a reserve spot. Why? Because he's part of the WRA team. I know Norton, go away. I don't have Norton on my laptop. What are you talking about? Stupid computer. And Luis Hernandez now making a pit stop. He is uh, part of the WRL, the Nora NOOL team, and all those guys, together with Chris Washer, Ian Dada, Daniel Voss. They all had reserved spots and also some others, but who. They didn't comment, so. So, Luis Hernandez, that is. And there's Chris Washer, another part of that team coming in pit road. And Chris Washer, by the way, now has an NR2003, so that's fun. There's Denise Steinauer in the 86 car, driving golf colors. Um, I think this is the only time she's going to be driving golf car. Oh, she drives in the Phillips Cup Series golf car, of course. And I completely lost... I'm completely lost. I actually no, have no clue where the leaders are. So let's look for the leaders. And I think that the leader might have made a pit stop. Looking for Zachary Robinson. No, Andrew Robinson, excuse me. There he is. He is right behind the two car. And, well, he has made a pit stop. Some others still have not made pit stops. Like Sonic Course, but Sonic Course is now stuck behind Shoko Akane. Or, um, well, I'm not sure how the standings are at the moment. It could be possible that, that Shoko Akane is even on the lead lap. No, she's in 26th position. She's a lap down. Well, not one lap, not a lap down, but yeah, she's on the merge, on the verge of getting a, going a lap down. And it seems like Sonic Course is now the leader, but that is because, um, because both the 51 car and the 43 have made pit stops. <coughs> and there's Keith Black. And Keith Black is actually now in front of Andrew Robinson. So that's interesting strategy over there. Both have made one pit stop so far. Or maybe it could be possible that Andrew Robinson had an issue and hit the wall somewhere. That might be possible. We have to see. First, let's go to the front again. Son, of course, now making a pit stop. I somehow felt it coming. Son, of course, now coming on pit road after eight laps. And look at how fast she's running on pit road. Hmm. I think I might change... I should change that. <laughs> because these guys are running way too fast on pit road. But that doesn't really matter too much. Um, there's Keith Black. And he now takes over second position. And Andrew Robinson is behind Keith Black. So that's very interesting over there. And then more people are coming on pit road. There the 04 car and continuing her way is Beth Black, but she's a lap down and has a lot of damage. And there also Skylar Dixon is on pit road. We see the 51 car of Alex Smith drive by. He has lost a lot of uh, track time over here. And here are a couple of cars coming again. And Joshua Michael just beats on the course on pit road. Look at that. Sonic Course just got beaten by Joshua Michaels and Pit Road, so that's interesting. And the Greg is also still in front of them, so they might have lost a lot of positions over here. Interesting strategy over here, and always confusing these pit stops, but always fun. Inga Lamliana making a pit stop now. And there's Zachary Robinson getting passed by Debbie Myers, that might be for position as well. But now the leader should be the. 17 car of Keith Black. He should be the leader now. He was running in second position. So that's... Um, 
very likely that he's the leader. If he indeed is the leader, then just has he just did a very great uh, strategy, or had a very great strategy. And there indeed is the 43 car of Andrew Robinson now lost his lead over here to Keith Black. And now Beth Black a lap down. Ryan Smith seems like is in third position. Not much has changed over there. And there's Anna Gregg. Ooh, hit the wall over there. I'm not sure if Anna Gregg already made a pistol. I think so, she, because she was just close behind Sonic Course. And there Sonic Course is. <coughs> and that's not too... Man, these cars get, keep on hitting the ball over here. And slowly but surely, after a very messy start over here, it seems like uh, Keith Black is going to make a pit stop over here. Second pit stop of today. Yeah, he has been a leader, but of course he came in after two laps. And that might be very short, because I think... I think that Andrew Robinson can make it with one more pit stop. But Keith Black, after this, he also has to make a pit stop. I th that's what I think will happen. Though it might be possible that Andrew Robinson still has to do two pit stops, but I would be really surprised. He came in on lap number 8 or something like that. And, well, it would be lap number 16, lap number 24. It would be cl really, really close. But at least Keith Black can now make it, or Ke yeah, Cle Keith Black can now make it on one more pit stop. As Ryan Smith is having to deal with lap traffic over here. And there's Anna Gregg, Joshua Michaels and Son of course. They come together with the 17 car on the racetrack again. There's a group forming over here with Skylar Dixon, Denise Steinhauer, Chase Smith and Luis Hernandez. So four cars are running together. They are running in 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th. No, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. At least that's what, how they are scored, and I believe that that might be true as well. And now we got Sean Howell in 11th position, Warren Cherry, Chris Washer, Nick Pericles, and the pace car. And uh, we have missed Jane Pinter in the three car. We haven't really talked about him too much. Philip Nationwide Series president, the um, Christmas specials for him are going to be at Eminem Super Speedway in the snow version. I've seen the track, downloaded the track, haven't tested it, I'm not going to use it probably either so <laughs> Jane Pinter with the Philips Nationwide Series Christmas specials although it is not with the really Philips Nationwide Series related um, I'm not sure if he's going to do multiple events or just one event I'm not sure how he's going to do it so but at least sign up if you haven't already it's going to be fun there are Debbie Myers and Chris Reichenbach all these car those car two cars look really alike oh and Chris Reichenbach spins around Rookie mistake by Chris Reichenbach, maybe. As he hit the wall over there. Wow. And now Joseph Vanessa is to his outside, trying to pass him, but he's not on a faster line. So Chris Reichenbach, I'm not sure what he did, just tried to cut the corner a little bit too much. You can see those cars sliding all over the place. Maybe he is a little bit loose or something. And there, Tom Gerard, well, also sliding there in Dutt as well. So just a little bit too short through the corner. Caused him to spin the car around. There's Zach Robinson also sliding. Look at the damage to that car. Oh, there's a lot of damage to that car. And there Tessa Sada Jackson. And Alex Smith. And Dom Caps. Alex Smith, wow, he has fallen back a lot over here. I'm not sure what happened to him. And there we got Andrew Robinson who scored as the leader now. Holy crap, look at all the damage to E.G. Robinson. Two Robinsons are running together, but one is a lap down or multiple laps down, possibly even. So there we got Ryan Smith now in second position. And Anna Gregg in third. And Son of Course... Oh, Keith Black is still in front of uh, Skylar Dixon. And Son of Course has fallen back a little bit. Not sure if she may have had a problem as well. And we missed somebody. And that's the one, Joshua Michaels, making a pit stop, so... I think the Sun of course has had some issues um, because, well, she did not really fall that far back because of a pit stop, but she still is pretty far behind. And you see, oh, there she hit the wall. That might have happened a few moments ago as well. So it's time to just take a. Ooh, E.G. Robinson is having issues there with Ryan Smith trying to pass him. 
And there is Andrew Robinson. Andrew Robinson now is pretty far in front of the 51 car. While cars are running through the grass over here. <coughs> Heavy lap traffic over there for Andrew Robinson. Let's see if he can clear it clean without too much problems. Whoa, it seems like he can. Shoko Akane getting loose. I'm not sure how many cars are, are, are in here with Shoko Akana in the 5. I think that's the only car of the Enrage Performance team. So, And there, Andrew Robinson now trying to lap uh, Alec, Alex Smith. Is? Alex Smith, yeah. So, let's take a look at the standings over here. Okay, there we go. A, a lot of cars are far, very, very far behind, as you can see over here. But after Tina Anderson the third, not many cars have retired, so... And guess what, we're only halfway home. <laughs> this is a really long race, it is, it, is. it is just an endurance race. And, well, on lap number 12 of 25 we are. After 27 minutes of racing and 31 minutes of recording. Which is of course with the replays. So Andrew Robinson is in the lead, Ryan Smith is 13, se 13 seconds behind him. Anna Craig is 20 sec 20, uh, 2 seconds behind him. And there we got the 17 car of Keith Black. There he is. He's half a minute behind Andrew Robinson. Skylar Dixon. Sonic Horse in 6th. 7th is Chase Smith. And now still battling with Luis Hernandez in 8th. Then we got Josh over here. Joshua Michaels. And Warren Cherry in 10th. So. Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh. I was just about to say, how is Warren Cherry 56 minutes behind? Oh, Denise Steinauer is on pit road. That's what happens. No, Inge Lambrian is on pit road. Oh well. She must be somewhere. Not sure where, but... You know where we're going to look for her. Denise Steinauer in number 86 car there. She is running. And she made a pit stop, so... And running in 11th position. So... Let's go full screen live again. Here we go. A lot of cars out of the race. Well, tw 32 cars. Not even too bad. I did a test race a few moments ago. And we only had 20 cars finishing or so. And a lot of cars were minute, minutes behind. Well, Sun of course hit the wall over there. Cars tend to be hitting the wall over here. I'm not sure if it is. Well, it has probably something to do with the race line. And here is Keith Black in number 17 car and Skylar Dixon right behind him. So Keith Black doing a fairly good job over here. But I'm not sure if he will be able to beat Andrew Robinson. It really depends on the pit stop st strategy. Maybe he has something for him. There's Nick Pericles on pit road and Inge Lambliana is still on pit road. That takes quite a long time. I'm not sure what is the best camera over here. And there's Shoko Akane on coming on pit road. And some left cars coming by. Dom Cass with damage to his side. There, second position. There. Ryan Smith in the 51 car. A car created by himself. Painted by himself. And here we got the 18 car of Anna Gregg running in third position now. Let's see. There we got Beth Black. Oh, actually we should go to Keith Black. There in the 17 car, our teammate. And here we got Skylar Dixon. The 06 car. Son of course. And there we got Chase Smith. And Luis Hernandez making a pit stop now. There we go. And there are Joshua Michaels. Warren Cherry. And yeah, indeed we do have two golf cars. One painted by myself and one not. But, well, that's a lot of fun. I'm not sure what which golf car would be better. I think that this golf car is still better. Because, of course... I'm not the best painter out there. I'm a pretty good painter. I, even though I say to myself, I'm a pretty good painter, but not as not the best painter. <coughs> there are Debbie Myers coming on pit road. Oh, a lot of people coming on pit road. Joseph Vanessa as well. Ian Dada. All coming on pit road. There's Emily Michaels in 82. Beth Sinise, Zachary Robinson, Tom Girard, Tessa Jackson, and, J and Isaac Sinclair. A couple of uh, Plymouth over here Kuda I'm not sure if I should say Barracuda or Hemikuda or Kuda just Kudas and look at this they're actually on the verge of getting left Andrew Robinson is not too far behind them 
And yeah, of course, on these road courses, the qualifying position is really important. So you do have to be lucky. On the other hand, you still have to have a good strategy. And one thing, I don't want to jinx it all for Andrew Robinson. But in the previous two qualifying or pre previous two test races I did at this racetrack, the person leading most of the laps and starting on the pole did not win the race. So... There's still a chance for Ryan Smith to catch him, or even for for um, for Anna Gregg to catch him. So uh, Andrew Robinson, uh, let's see, Ryan Smith, both are not in the Phillips Cup series yet. Anna Gregg is in the Phillips Cup series, and she has a uh, locked-in position for Phillips Cup series season seven because she's in the chase. And there we got Keith Black. He has no locked-in position or no reserved spot, I should say, whatever. Um, and there we got Skylar Dixon. He is not in the Phillips Cup series. And now Chase Smith coming on pit road. Beth Black. And Chase Smith was in front of Sonic Course. Man, Sonic Course is having some serious slow issues over here. Having a lot of problems maybe running into the wall. Slowing down, maybe she spun around as well, just like Chris Reichenbach did a few moments ago. Oh, and Ryan Smith hit the wall over here. That's not good running a second position. I think this is a well, this is a pretty big trouble spot over here, it seems like. So actually, we should keep an eye on this corner for a moment. There's Skylar Dixon and Joshua Michaels in the 04 car of course he has a Phillip, uh, he has a reserve spot for the Phillips Cup Series season 7 he's going to be driving a Toyota and going to paint it himself which I highly encourage of course we got Warren Cherry over here in the 83 car he has no uh, position he is in the Star Wars Super Speedway Series but not in the Phillips Cup Series and he has no reserve spot and he hits the wall and there we got the Nisa Steinauer. She will be back next season in Phillips Cup. So she's one of my drivers. So um, She's going to be driving the HP car. Or the Winners 8 car actually. With the Simon Pagano paint scheme. Just like in the Star Wars Super Speedway series. And she's going to be driving in Mitsubishi as well. The whole Apsis team is going to be going to Mitsubishi. And here we got J Jane Pinter in the 3 car. Jane Pinter of course has a reserve spot as well. And he will keep, keep the same car. And man... E.G. Robinson has so much damage to this number 46 car. That's incredible. Chris Reichenbach over there. Sean Howell both have the same car. And these are the cars that I painted. Just quick cars. With only Goodyear as a sponsor. But just they have the, the same kind of paint scheme. But then different colors. So I did that with six cars. And only two of them are going to be used. There's Chris Washer. He has a locked in position. I already painted the car. He's going to be driving the 06 um, Red Bull Mercedes with a secondary sponsor Mobile One. Luis Hernandez is not yet in the Phillips Cup Series Season 6. He has a reserved spot though. Ian Dada as well also hasn't signed up yet. Debbie Myers will be in the Matmut uh, Mitsubishi and the Deutsche Post Mitsubishi. And then Bassanese. Now she has no locked in position yet, but Joseph Nesto has. So. And there Emily Michaels. She is. No locked in position yet. And Joseph Nesto has. And he already painted three cars for himself. So there we see Chase Smith. Not yet in the Phillips Cup Series. Zachary Robinson has no. Yeah he has a reserved spot. Because he's a desk car president. So. And I'm not sure what he. Oh yeah he was going to be driving a 48 car as well. There we got Tom Girard. And Isaac Sinclair. Both are not in the Phillips Cup Series. And don't have a reserved spot. Tessa Jackson will be back in the Phillips Cup Series Season 6. And there we got Alex Smith again. And Dom Caps. And Anna Gregg. Your leader, possibly. Where's the 43 car? There he is. Oh, he made a pit stop. And it seems like, once again, he's going to be behind Keith Black. But the thing is, we still have... Hmm. Actually... Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if both would, have made, would still have to make one more pit stop. This was a little bit early for Andrew Robinson. So, that's going to be a very interesting battle. And that all happens behind Anna Gregg. And there you can see Anna Gregg still has made one pit stop less. But you can see how big of a difference this is. Also, Ryan Smith has been on pit road. I'm not sure where he is. There he is. 
he fell back to, I'm not sure what position, 8th position or so. And here we got a battle going on. Son of course versus uh, Skylar Dixon. Ooh, we got another battle over here, but this is with left traffic, I think. No, it's the battle for the lead. Battle for the lead between uh, Keith Black and Anna Gregg. And it seems like Keith Black is going to take it. That left car over there, the 09 car of, of Dom Caps, might have been an issue over here for Anna Gregg. And she lost the lead. And she's going to make a pit stop right away. Good call by Anna Gregg, just making pit stop right away. Before she might lose more time. And Skylar Dixon is making pit stop while Sun, of course, moves on. So, there we got Joshua Michaels and Ryan Smith. Warren Cherry over here. And there is Denise Steinauer, 86 car. She was very close to a couple of other people. And here we got a battle between left cars. Between E.G. Robinson and Beth Black. And with all the damage that E.G. Robinson has, she still manages to overtake Beth Black. I'm not sure about why or how. Since Beth Black seems like she doesn't have too much damage. There's Chris Reitenbach still running in the top 10 it seems like. <coughs> Excuse me. And Sean Howell has been gotten by... Uh, Jane Pinter. So battle over here be continues between the three car and three car. Sean Howell and Jane Pinter. Ford Mustang versus Chevy Camaro, and also Chris Reichenbach coming on pit road. There's Born Cherry on pit road as well. So I'm looking for the leader now and skimming through the field as well. This just looks so weird with the 48 car with having no front end. It is just because of uh, saving fraps and stuff. I just did the qu car quality on medium. So, And here we have our leader, Keith Black, in the number 17 car. I'm not sure when he's going to be making a pit stop. But if he makes one now, he has made his three, three pit stops already within 16 laps. So he might have to make another one. I'm not sure. We'll have to see what he's going to do. I think he might be able to continue a few more laps. And if he does that, he might be able to make it to the end. And there's Andrew Ronson has fallen far back. And, well, this video is starting to... I'm already recording for a pretty long time. I'm just going to, to stop it here for a moment and then quickly uh, continue over here. Just to have two videos coming shortly after each other. So, here we go. One, two... Three, and we're back again. That's how easy it goes. I hope that I have enough memory on my computer. <laughs> that might be really bad if I wouldn't have enough memory on my computer. But I think so. It should be able to record uh, one for at least one and a half hours. So, well, that will not happen. I can assure you that. So, so let's see where our leader is. Uh, we had him a few moments ago, I think, somewhere. Oh! Hitting the wall over there, Bassanis. And there is there's our leader, Keith Black. Six seconds in front of Andrew Robinson. Well, well a couple of people are coming on pit road. And Sun, of course, hasn't, or hasn't yet come on pit road. She was one of the last drivers to make a pit stop. So she should be able to continue the longest. Maybe it might be smart. Maybe she's just going to try to stretch it and then make one pit stop less than the others. The thing is that she's um, how far behind? She's pretty far behind the leaders. Skyler Dixon there, and there's Anna Gregg. And Son of Course, hang on, Son of Course is in 25th position. She scored. Oh, hang on, we have issue. We have issues. The 51 car has retired. My goodness, we have had issues over here, ladies and gentlemen. As uh, something has happened between the 51 car and Sun, of course, possibly. So we're going to take a quick look at what happened. My, 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 what happened over here? Ryan Smith out of nowhere. It seems like his car... Oh, man, look at this. The same corner again. And is he running right behind Sun, of course? No, he's not, so... Not sure what happened to Sonic of Course, but look at this. Ryan Smith hits the wall and oh wow. 
He was running in such a great race in f second position and he hits the wall and this race is over. So my goodness, that's a big turn of events. And Sun, of course, she has had some issues as well. I'm not sure what. Well, we could do a quick running very quickly, but I'm, t I'm pretty sure we're already too late. Could be a lap earlier. Uh, she's a couple. She's a couple of laps down now. Probably hit the wall somewhere. If it takes too long, I'm just going to live again. Yeah, this takes so. This takes way too long. That pit stop. That took a lot of time over there. So that pit stop really screwed her up. And she is I'm not sure where she is now. Oh, there she is. There we go. So son of course is so out of nowhere she's gone and the 51 car is also gone has retired So let's see let's go to our standings <coughs> Also Nick Pericles and Inga Lambliana have retired I'm not sure what happened to them. Inga Lambliana has been on pit road for a very long time and Nick Pericles as well might have hit the wall too So out of nowhere we lost a couple of cars over here very interesting turn of events and uh, we should really go to the lead that's not the lead that's me the lead over here is heating up the battle for the lead or at least was heating up because Andrew Robinson disappeared and he uh, probably on pit road let's see if we can find him somewhere hmm oops Andrew Robinson there he is Shoko Akane and then I lost the 17 car there he is So I think that this is still not up to date and that Keith Black has made a pit stop and That's with around eight or nine laps to go So that's an interesting turn of events over here Let's see how is this working now. We got Andrew Robinson in the lead back back in the lead again a couple of left cars more left cars we got Anna Craig running in second position, Keith Black running in third, fourth is Skylar Dixon now, and fifth is Joshua Michaels, I think. So, that's interesting. Lap traffic again, have, of course, with endurance racing, there's going to be a lot of lap traffic and a lot of slower cars, and Joseph Nesso hit the wall. That's not too good. Now we will get passed by Sean, ha by Sean Howell and also Luis Hernandez hit the wall. So there we got our leader, Andrew Robinson. And then the 17 car is running right behind him or either that or he has made a pit stop. No, no, Anna Greg, excuse me, Anna Greg is running in second position. Let's get a confirmation over here of that. Anna Greg indeed is running in second position now, 23 um, seconds behind the leader so that's quite a lot <coughs> and indeed there is the leader so he is now has now left a couple of cars again the 5 car and the 66 and the 5 car is already uh, th um, 3 laps down so that's interesting Ryan Smith was running so good and was running in second position really battling with the leaders and because of hitting the wall he has retired from the race so he will not get or win this race and get that locked in position by the way for the guys who just wonder how long this race is it is a 775 kilometer race so oh and somebody hit the wall right here and it is the five car of Shoko Akane and she's smoking and she's done and she has to look out not to get hit by anybody else. So Shoko Akane will be the next victim of that really, really, really tough corner. Let's take an, another instant replay over here. Look at this. She was battling with Ice. It is yes, indeed, Isaac Sinclair. And Isaac Sinclair goes to the inside. So Shoko Akane goes a little bit wide, and there, boom. And oh my goodness, Isaac Sinclair was so lucky not to get into that. And I think it's time to just show you an onboard over here, just for fun. 
This is how it felt like for her. Look at this. Boom. And then Joshua Michaels had to miss everything. I think it was Josh. Oh, no, Chase Smith. So next victim of that turn, it is indeed Shoko Akane. And here we got a interesting battle between Anna Greg and Keith Black. Keith Black is reeling in Anna, Anna Greg, it seems like. And Sonic Horse is right in the middle of it. And there we got Emily Michaels and Pit Road together with Zachary Robinson with a lot of damage. So where's the leader? Looking for the leader. There he is, Andrew Robinson. In front of Isaac Smith now and right behind Joseph Ernesto. He has been running really well today. And there is the battle for second position between Anna Greg and Keith Black. I think that both... I'm not sure if both have anything for Andrew Robinson. Only if Andrew Robinson has a really long pit stop, which might be possible of course. Or maybe if he has some issues with hitting that wall. Then one of these guys might win this race. Otherwise it will be Andrew Robinson winning the race. And getting a reserved spot. And by the way having a reserved spot does not mean that I'm going to paint a car for you. Yet. That might only happen if you finish in the top 5 in the, in the chase. Or if you win the Christmas Royals. Only those people or top 5 or 6 I'm not sure yet. Will be either the top 5 or the top 6 eventually in points. They will get an, another custom car for season 7. And the Christmas Royal win Royals winner. And all the other winners of these uh, Christmas specials races. They will just get a reserved spot. So. Ooh, look out. Oh, Keith Black hit the wall. Wow. Keith Black just runs straight into that wall over there. And man... I'm just so surprised that these cars still hit that wall. And I'm not sure how bad it is for Keith Black. Going to take a replay over here. It could be possible these guys are getting a little bit tired. They're not used to running so long on these road courses of course. The Phillips Cup Series races are pretty long but not like this long. So, Goodness gracious Keith Black. While running in second... I, th I really thought that he might have had something for, um, for the leader over here. Uh, talking about the leader, where is he? Luis Hernandez is, I think, still on pit road. So uh, There he is. Andrew Ronson. Hasn't made a single mistake all day long. Maybe he has brushed the wall before one time. But he hasn't had too big of an issue today yet. So we got Andrew Ronson scored in the lead. Let's take you through the field over here. A couple of lapped cars. And running in second position is... There, Anna Gregg, and Anna Gregg is making a pit stop. Can you imagine, 30 seconds behind the leader, and she has to make a pit stop. And odd thing is, Keith Black doesn't come on pit road. It seems like his damage is not too bad, so that's a good thing for her, for him. There we got Joshua Michaels running in fourth position, possibly. They are coming across the stripe, in the stripe indeed, in fourth position. And then Warren Cherry might be in fifth position. Or Skyler Dixon might be in 5th position. And ooh, you can see there's a battle heating up over here between Skyler Dixon and Denise Steinhauer. They're not running too far apart from each other. Skyler Dixon in 5th and Denise Steinhauer in 6th position. And there's Warren Cherry making a pit stop. He was running in 7th position. Now we'll give 7th position to Jane Pinter. He just came by. There he is. Jane Pinter now running in 7th position. Well, he st still scored in 8th, but he's running in 7th. And Ian, Ian Dada over there is running in ninth. And here are others. So Debbie Myers also on pit road. Oh, that's just a... Eh, close. So let's go to our leader again. There he is. Andrew Robinson also already completed another lap. And you can see the best lap is a 2 minutes and 90 sec 19 seconds. While his last lap was 2 minutes and 22 seconds. But that's still way faster. Only Tom Girard is faster. He ran his best lap the previous time. And then... Um, well... There we got Keith Black. Of course he ran a 2.32 because of hitting the wall. And then Anna Greg made a pit stop. Joshua Michaels ran a 2.20. 
So Joshua Michaels is actually quicker than, Alec than Andrew Robinson. Might be possible that he's going to make a pit stop indeed later on pit road. Andrew Robinson for the last time on pit road. So let's see how much time he will lose. And also I'm really wondering if Keith Black would will still have to make another pit stop. It would be kind of spectacular if he if, uh, can overtake Andrew Robinson. Not sure where how far he be, is behind the Andrew Robinson. Well, he's too far behind, seems like. Way too far behind. And, oh, that's not even too far behind there. Keith Black is still running behind Andrew Robinson, but Andrew Robinson is continuing his way. So, and there he is, Keith Black, running in second position now. There's Sun, of course, coming up pit road. After a great race, now turned completely south. Anna Greg now battling with Joshua Michaels. This is for third position. So that's a good battle over here for third position. There are slowly but surely there are still battles over here. And this is another one I was referring to. Skylar Dixon and Denise Steinauer battling over here. For fifth position that is eventually. Of course they are more than a minute behind the leader. So <laughs> still they are Jane Pinter. And a couple of lapped cars and damaged cars. Ian Dada, there's Warren Cherry, and of course Chris Reichenbach. Still, I'm still surprised Chris Reichenbach is one of the only people who is in here who I've never heard of. Of course, some people are rookies over here, because, but I've heard from their team in some other places. But Chris Reichenbach, never heard of him. So I'm really glad that he's in here. It's always fun to have new people. So where's the leader? Jay Smith, let's see. There, Andrew Robinson. And now Keith Black. I'm not running too far behind him. And actually, Anna Gregg is catching Keith Black. Anna Gregg is slowly but surely catching Keith Black. Andrew Robinson is just running away from everybody. And when we cross the stripe, stripe, we will only have three more laps to go. Three more long laps, though. But it will be three more laps to go. Approximately six to seven minutes. We'll make it seven minutes, seven to eight minutes it would be. So Andrew Robinson, he has been flawless all day long. So, well, if there's one person who deserves to win, he would be the one. Of course, he was lucky he was starting on the pole. And here we have, we're, I can tell you, we're going to have an interesting battle for second position over here. Shame that the second position just delivers nothing. It's all for the honor. And for the confidence and just have saying, well, I won that bat or I finished second at Bathurst in the Christmas specials. But the winner takes it all over here at Bathurst. And Anna Greg, you can see how much she's reeling in on the 17 car. And let's see. There is Andrew Robinson running 251. Man, that car is slow. I'm not sure if it what this is, but it was probably something with the pit stop. That's still the pit stop does count. But there you can see Anna Greg is 7 seconds per, per lap faster than, Anna, than, um, than Keith Black. And you can see there she's going to make the move. Keith Black with all the damage he has still is too much for him. And there he loses his second position. And he's 100% chanceless of winning a race. Now Joshua Michaels is the next one to make a move on him and take third position away from Keith Black. There he comes. I'm not sure. Well, now he is going to get into the tricky um, part where a lot of turns are. And there's Andrew Robinson still running far away in front of the, these guys. And there is Skylar Dixon. And it seems like Skylar Dixon has won the battle over Denise Steinauer. She's giving up a little bit on him. And that, let's see, there's Jane Pinter running all alone. Some drivers have been running. I think Ian Dulla is also one of those drivers who has been running all alone, all race long. Not too much fun about that, but still. At least if you ca I can, I can say if you finish the race on the lead lap, then you can already be satisfied. Oh, and uh, somebody will not do that. Is Joseph Anasto? Joseph Anasto seems like his, his engine let go on him. So that's a tough break for him. The 62 car of Joseph Anasto. I'm not sure if it was because of hitting the wall or just because of... I'm not sure what. Anna Greg, where she is. There she is. 
Oh, uh, I can I can tell you actually, Anna Gregg is closing in on Andrew Robinson. She, I'm really surprised though, because she doesn't have the fresher tires, but she was 18 seconds behind Andrew Robinson. We'll see, but I can tell. Um, still might be 18 seconds. There, Josh Michaels has gone by Keith Black as well, and Skylar Dixon is the next one. Denise Steinauer was stuck behind Alex Smith. It seems like. There we go. Very easy. And Robinson went in ran in 2.21, so that's a pretty fast lap time. And now Anna Gregg will run the same thing, I think. Around 2.21, maybe she will lose a little bit. And it seems like she indeed runs in 2.21, so she's not gaining at all on Andrew Robinson. Oh, Keith Black another 2.28, 2.30 maybe. 2.28. That's fine. And then I lost somebody. Joshua Michaels had to make a pit stop still. Well, that's kind of late, Josh, but that, well, that get, he gives away his third position now and to make a pit stop. And might even give uh, fourth position away as Skylar Dixon is having a run. But let's see. There's the leader, Andrew Robinson, in the 43 car. He's still catching lap traffic right here. Tess Jackson on 17th. And or in 17th, and she's the last car on the lead lap. Uh, 62 car has retired. 27 car of Luis Hernandez has also retired, and 48 car has retired. The two car has retired, all because of hitting the wall, right there. So yeah, the cars st still seem to be getting into the wall in this turn, and it is a difficult turn. That is true. And there's the 17 car, Keith Black. Still running his third position. He was one of those drivers who hit the ball. But the thing is, he could continue his way. So that's important. So we've been recording now audio for one, one hour and two minutes. Uh, exactly now. Two minutes. And 58 minutes is the race. So we have a total of four minutes of replay and talking. So still the race went pretty well and pretty fast. And actually, that, that's what just four minutes of talking, of course. Because the replays are just instant replays, so I don't pause the race. So that I didn't th think about that. But ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Robinson, he's going to go out of the last turn. In the 43 car, he's been flawless all day. He has to do it one more lap. Andrew Robinson, he has to deal with lap traffic one more lap. And he has to race his butt off one more lap he ran a 223 so that's a little bit slower than his previous lap but still i think it will be fast enough for him to win this race unless anna Greg can run a 120 which i don't see her do she actually ran a, two, a 222 so and there he is andrew robinson she's faster than andrew robinson but still andrew robinson it is zachary robinson his teammate who has a locked in position because he's uh um, because he's a desk car president and then if he wins this race then also Andrew Ronson will have a locked in position and I wouldn't be surprised if he would be running the 43 car then um, for him you might you or um, the person who wins the race he can already choose what car he wants to drive I'm not going to paint the car though but you can already choose your car so I'd say do your thing and that will also count for the Phillips Cup Series chasers. I will contact them right after this race. So um, I will send them a message if they want to drive a car. But the thing is for them, if they want to have a custom car, that might still be allowed. But then um, will be th that will be decided later. Andrew Robinson in the 43 car hitting the wall a couple of times. So the ch Christmas specials is underway, ladies and gentlemen. 25 laps at Bathurst. This Bathurst 775, well it's 776 kilometers, but who cares about it, one, one extra mile. And yes, one mile is 1.6 kilometers. So, Andy Robinson, he has to survive it for a few more turns, but he has been so clean today, so I'm pretty sure, 100%, no, not 100%, I'm 90% sure that he will make it. Right behind Chase Smith in the number 26 car, Andrew Robinson. There he comes. He has been really clean today. And he has to do it for one more turn. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Robinson will be the first winner. Oh, really slow car over here. 
And he peeks down the inside, does it cleanly. Ladies and gentlemen, your first winner of the Christmas specials will be Andrew Robinson in the 43 car. And he'll be in Phillips Cup Series Season 7. Congratulations, Andrew Robinson. He ran a flawless day. He has led almost every single lap except for the pit stop laps. And here we got second place car. Anna Gregg just came up short. The runner up position goes to her. Still solid job. Great job by Anna Gregg. It proves how good of a driver she is. And third will be this car, I think. Yes, indeed. Keith Black in the 17 car. After hitting the ball, he will still be able to finish well in third position. And here we got a great battle for fourth, fifth, and sixth, all under one blanket. I'm surprised. Joshua Michaels finishing in, fourth, in front of Skyler Dixon and Denise Steinauer. They were really close together. Then we're waiting for the next cars. So Jane Pinter is going to finish in seventh position in the number three AC Delco car. And he finishes. In 7th position, top 10 for him, great job, Jane Pinter. Warren Chang, we haven't talked about him all day long. But eventually he will finish in 8th position. Great job by him. There's Chris Reichenbach. In his first ever start in the NASCAR race, he will finish in ninth position over here. And then in 10th position, Ian Dada. After all his issues and things he has going on, will finish in 10th position. So ladies and gentlemen, that's your top 10. So then other people... Are just going to be a laps down. Debbie Myers will finish in 11th. Sean Howell in 12th position. There we got Chris Washer in 13th. Jason Clare in 14th. And Chase Smith in 15th. And here we got our winner. Andrew Robinson will go on board with him over here. In this beautiful Pontiac. Really like this car. Seems like the King kind of helped him over here. Winning this race. So ladies and gentlemen, after this we're going to go back to the United States of America. There will be a lot of races abroad. To, to Talladega No Ball tomorrow we'll have the qualifying practice of 15 minutes. And then on uh, Friday we're going to have the first segment. Saturday the second, the th third one on Sunday. I still probably still I will have to do the, on Monday one the final segment. Or maybe I'm going to do that on Tuesday together with the finale. The finale will be somewhere between 10 and 20 laps. I'm not sure how many laps it will be, but you will see. Andrew Robinson, he has a reserve spot. Congratulations. Man, my throat is now really dry after talking for so long. One hour we have raced over here. One hour and four minutes. Andrew Robinson wins the race and we have already had top 15. Top 15 finishes on the lead lap and everybody behind there is either a lap down or two laps down or has retired. As here you can see all the people that have retired. That's quite a list over. I can remember that Tina Anderson was the last one after three or laps or so to retire. And after that it went clean for a whole time. But eventually still Inga Lombliana, Nick Perkley, Shoko Akane, Ryan Smith... Beth Black, Zachary Robinson, Luis Hernandez and Joseph Ness have had issues with either their engine or they hit the tire barrier or the wall as well. So, Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen a very exciting, well actually still an exciting race for an endurance race over here. At least I thought it was a fun race. Uh, so we're going to keep this in mind and maybe we'll return to Bathurst next season or next year for the Christmas specials 2014-2015 as well. Next time we're going to Talladega, no goals, ladies and gentlemen. After that we'll go to the New Zealand Ready, back to, I think at least I still have to test that. I will do the testing for the Christmas Royals right after this. I'm pretty sure you will, be, you will love the Christmas Royals for the people who have never watched it before. It is just like the Royal Rumble, or almost exactly like the Royal Rumble, um, by Seth Cole, the NNSCRA president, of course, Seth Cole. He's just a great guy. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'm going to say goodbye over. Congratulations to Andrew Robinson. One more time, I'll show you the standings. Of course, doesn't it, it isn't for points. So, it is still Andrew Robinson winning the race. And, ladies and gentlemen, I will contact everybody. Or at least, Andrew Robinson still has to comment on this race. And I'm pretty sure he will do so. The winner of the race still, if he wants to have the reserve spot, he still has to comment. So... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and I will see you next time tomorrow 
with the Christmas Royals at Talladega Super Speedway No Balls version. What are you going to expect? Cars running close together, three wide, four wide, crashing, flying. Yes, I'm not I'm not kidding. Cars will fly. <laughs> Seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for the Christmas specials 2013-2014 of Daskar. Oh no, what's that?